welcome to our channel super tech i am sujit from super tech today we are here to discuss about some uh, important features of bios that is secure boot in bios what will happen if i run an os windows 7 with secure boot disabled so today's as you can see that uh, today's computers or uh, machines pc come up with a feature called secure boot enable this is a platform features in UEFI which replace the traditional PC BIOS. If a PC manufacturer want to place a Windows 10 or Windows 8 logo sticker to the PC, Microsoft requires they enable secure boot and follow some guidelines. Unfortunately, it also prevents you from installing some Linux distribution which can be quite hassle. How secure boot secures your PC boot process? Uh, secure boot is not just designed to make running Linux more difficult. There are real security advantages to having secure boot enabled, and even Linux users uh, can benefit from them. Traditional BIOS will boot any software. Okay, the legacy uh, BIOS will boot any software. When you boot your PC, just check the hardware device according to the boot order you have configured. The attempt to boot from them. Okay. So every hardware is a, there is a section which uh, uh, which is a, uh, which is uh, mainly uh, uh, mainly issued or mainly kept for uh, to interact with the operating system. Okay, operating system with the bootloader. So whenever we are trying to boot uh, configure attempt to boot from them, typical PC will normally find a boot the windows boot loader which goes to the boot and full windows operating system if you use linux then bios will find and boot the grub boot loader which uh, as you know already that your linux comes up with the grub boot loader which most linux distribution uses however it is possible for malware such as rootkit to replace your uh, boot loader rootkit could load your normal operating system with no indica indication anything was wrong, staying completely invisible and undetectable on your system. The BIOS does not know the difference between the malware and a trusted bootloader, it just boot whatever it finds. So where you can find this uh, SQL boot in your BIOS, uh, how can you enable this one? You can enable uh, by going to the boot BIOS menu. Uh, in order to go this BIOS menu, you can use different kinds of keys uh, as set by the manufacturers of the PC. Different manufacturers use different types of keys. Some use escape, some use F9, some use F12, and etc. So in, after going to the, this, this boot menu, you can find this uh, uh, find this secure boot enable or disable key. As you, I can show you, uh, as you can see this in the image. Now uh, you can see this in the image. Okay, how can you uh, enable or disable this one? Okay, now I have highlighted this uh, with your blue rectangle box. Uh, there are two or more options are there: reset BIOS security to factory disable default, and delete all security boot key. Here you can uh, disable or enable the boot secure boot uh, key. Okay, so. Uh, boot secure is designed to stop this means Windows 8 and Windows 10 PC chips shipped with Microsoft certificate stored in UEFI. UEFI will check the bootloader before launching it and ensure it's signed by uh, Microsoft manufacturer. Okay, so, hello, friend. Uh, that, that's it for today, and uh, I hope you have uh, gathered some useful information from this uh, video. and if you have gathered some information please do subscribe and like the uh, like button uh, hit the like button and do press the bell icon also for upcoming videos in our near uh, futures and we are planning to go for uh, some of the android development website development and many more lots more to come in this channel for our friends who are very interested in and uh, technical it sector uh, so please do subscribe and subscribe and subscribe to the Google channel and thank you for watching and see you back again in the next video thank you bye